What's up, y'all? So I got another video about this uh, Ugas and Earl Spence fight, man. So one of the most recent things I have seen from Ugas is that Ugas said that um, he had an advantage. No, he said Earl Spence is at a disadvantage, which means Ugas is at an advantage. But he said Earl Spence is at a disadvantage be basically because of his activity and him not constantly fighting. So he feels like he has the edge over Earl Spence in that aspect. And I just want to say that uh, I've been paying attention to almost everything that Ugas had to say, you know, in the, com in the most recent weeks about this fight, about his fight with Earl Spence and uh, and likewise with Earl Spence. I've been watching everything Earl Spence been saying. But the pattern I have been seeing with Ugas is it seems to me, I could be wrong, but it seems to me that Ugas is underestimating Earl Spence in a way. Okay, when Ur when Ugas say that Earl Spence is at a disadvantage, I believe that he shouldn't be thinking like that. I think he should be expecting for Earl Spence to be just as good as he was at his best or even better than that. Because the moment you start thinking like that, that's how you start training. If you think you got the slightest edge over a guy, sometimes it's, it's lacking in the preparation. So that's how I look at it with this, you know what I'm saying, statement that came from Ugas. He made this statement uh, at the press think on the Fight Hub TV uh, video or whatever. So if Ugas believe that Earl Spence is at a disadvantage, man, damn. In a way, he already lost. You know, he giving up an edge to Earl Spence just by saying that shit because as we all see and paying attention to this fight, it look like Earl Spence is in beast mode right now. It look, it look, it look like he training like he never did before. It like, bro, is it top prime shape? He looking super healthy, super in shape, and I'm paying attention to Ugas in the in the uh, at the press and it seemed, and I watched them start side by side, like like kind of how they was right here, right here where Ugas got the fat neck and shit. It looked. Like, it looked like Earl Spence was more in shape. It looked like they was in similar size frame, but it looked like Earl Spence was in better shape than Ugas. That's what I was paying attention to, you know. And Ugas looked like he had the fat neck. It looked like when you at the state house, you know how certain citizens, when they eating their steak, they use a knife and a fork. They cut the motherfuckers in smaller portions. It just looked like Ugas just, just he take the steak and just gobble, gobble that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> he, don't, he, he, don't even, he don't even slice the bitches up into little, you know. So, so, you know, so he eat the motherfucker a little better. He get them bitches extra well done, and he just gobble, gobble that motherfucker. Like, fuck it. I said, now this nigga neck fat is a motherfucker. I ain't know if the suit was too tight or what, but... That's besides the point, man. Earl, Earl Spence is in dog shape, man. And, and let's, let's, just look at this little picture right here. You can tell who look in better shape. Who got said that bitch flashy? Earl Spence left the man down chain at home. Who got, he brought the whole jewelry box up. Is it, you know, it. Yeah. Is he smelling himself still from from the Pacquiao fight? You know, nigga went on the splurge and spree. I don't know. That that's to be seen. But ain't no excuses with this shit. I don't want to hear no nigga lost focus or none of that shit. All I know is whoever win this shit just the better man. Period. Because it was the other way around. We couldn't say the same about Earl. So the best man wins the fight, and that's all this that's this, this shit about. But Ugas, man, he need to have his fucking head in the paint. He need to worry about Earl Spence being at the best he ever seen him. Because I took this statement, right? Then I heard his last statement. His last statement was, 
Oh man, Earl Spence, uh, what'd he say? He said some other shit about how he guaranteed he gonna beat the shit out of Earl Spence. Now that's just confidence. I don't take that as him uh, uh, underestimating him saying that uh, he, 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 he guaranteed he gonna beat him and shit like that because you gotta believe that before you even get in a fight. But it was other things that Ugas have said that make me believe that he's underestimating Earl Spence. You know, so word of Ugas, man, he better have his shit in order. He better have his shit together because this nigga Earl on a mission. You know, and you don't want, you don't want to be on the other end of that burrow when that nigga letting loose because I see them, you know, when they trade, I think this is going to be one of them brutal type of fights because it's not going to be like no uh, boxing shit that much, you know, now boxing around the ring, you know, I feel like this is going to be an inside fight because Ugas like to trade. Earl Spence is the type of guy when he trade, he not going to let you get the best on him. You hit him with a shot, he come with two or three of them bitches. Uh, who guys throw these wide ass hooks? Earl Spence shit sharp and, and shorter. You know, sharper and shorter. Get to the point faster. He throwing straight punches. It's like his his straight punches and then Ugas throwing wide punches. He, he open. He leave his body open. You know, he leave his face open. I see uh Ugas getting damaged real badly to the body. You know what I'm saying? That's more to 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 his body than to his face. That's how, I, that's how I see the fight. I see him getting damaged real badly. You know, Earl Spence, another thing. Earl Spence revealed, I could make this own video, but I said this previously before Earl Spence announced it himself during the press that he's been fucking training for about six months <laughs> straight. And then I looked at fucking... How Sean Porter trained for goddamn two training camps just to even compete with an Earl Spence that wasn't even at his best. Just not, and still got his ass dropped and beat the fuck up. You know, Sean Porter had to train like two training camps just to even compete at the level with Earl Spence. Earl Spence going, damn near going on his third training camp in a row, six months straight, four, five, six months straight. The nigga finna fuck over. Oh, guys, man, it's going to be bad, bro. It's going to be bad, bro. This nigga been living in the gym, damn near. You know, you got to have a stream, dedication, and discipline to be able to stay in the ring when you don't have a fight. So, it seems like oh, guys been on the yacht. Spinning in circles with his girlfriend and shit. Making love on that motherfucker. Earl Spence, he, if he making love, he fucking on the mat in the gym. And get back up. He, hitting the motherfucker, hitting the bag, heavy bag, in the mix with Derrick James and shit. Earl Spence went from the presser to the gym, back to the gym. From the presser. The nigga ain't playing, man. But it is what it is, man. Y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. You ain't subscribed already. And y'all niggas tell Ugas, he, he, he better be on his shit, man. And I'm out. Deuces.